Hi guys, it's Jasmine again. I'm gonna start off by applying my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. And I'm just gonna start blending it in with my fingers. Now I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just applying it in my dark on my dark circles and on my nose and anywhere I have any blemishes or pimples. And I'm just blending that in with my fingers as well. And now I'm gonna set it with my airspun loose face powder. And I'm just using a powder brush to put it on. Now I'm going to use this small brush and get this this dark brown reddish color and I'm just going to start doing like a cut crease I was trying to do the 60s cut crease but like with a neutral color and I'm just using this brush this like small brush to kind of outline the crease and I'm just as you can see I'm just forming like a cat eye kind of shape but on my crease and I just keep adding more color and then I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild palette and use that brown dark brown shade as well just to darken it up a little bit more because I wasn't liking how I was looking with just that brown but I'm just following the shape and it's a very easy and simple like eyeshadow look to do even if it's not like super blended and I just keep blending it with that eyeshadow brush And now I'm going in with my MAC, MAC eyeshadow palette and I'm just using this flat brush to apply this white eyeshadow. It's a matte like white or beige eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply that on my lid and on my brow bone. It's just a matte look so I'm not putting any like shimmer colors shimmery colors I 
Oh yeah guys and I always forget to mention I don't do my eyebrows like all I really do is just pluck them like in the middle or like on the arch sometimes but I don't do my eyebrows so I always forget to mention that on my makeup tutorials or the makeup looks I do but yeah I'm just like blending it out a little bit more and now I'm gonna start doing my winged eyeliner I just draw a line and then kind of connect another line and kind of just draw an, um, a triangle and then I just fill it in. I kind of messed up on my eyeliner, but I'm just going to fix it off camera. So that's the finished, or I'm almost done with the finished eye look. I'm going to start drawing some eyelashes on the bottom of my eye. It's inspired by Twiggy. She's a model from the 60s. She was very famous at the time. So she was like a huge influence on this look. I just got inspired to do the little lashes on the bottom, but if you look at photos from the 60s a lot of pictures come out with the little eyelashes on the bottom and I think it looks really cute Now I'm gonna apply some mascara before I put my false eyelashes. And I'm using my Kiss Lash Glue. And I'm using some long very long eyelashes from the wish app that i got a few months ago i'll link i'll link the products down below guys you know if you're interested in these eyelashes but i thought these would be really good since the eyelashes were kind of long and dramatic My eyes instantly look bigger now. But now I'm gonna start applying my blush. I'm using this Too Faced blush.
And yeah guys, I like my cheeks to look very rosy. From what I've seen in some pictures, it was popular to wear a lot of blush at that time too. And now I'm using this Wet n Wild Never Nude lipstick. It was like the perfect nude. It's like the color I've seen a lot of women wear back then in the pictures I found on Pinterest or online. Or like in movies, you know, kind of like the one Priscilla Presley wears. It's just a very, very pale nude shade. I don't really think you need a lip liner because I think it kind of blends in with my skin tone. But make sure you moisturize your lips guys because I, the first time I wore this lipstick I didn't moisturize my lips enough with lip balm and my lips got very dry. But yeah just make sure to wear a lot of lip balm or chapstick. Yeah, this is how the lipstick looks and I'm just applying a little bit more blush because I thought I needed a little bit more I'm using this elf blush brush I'm just blending it out So this is the finished makeup look guys. I'm sorry you can barely see the eyeshadow. I really wish I had a camera so you could see it better but yeah this is the finished makeup look. And now we're gonna start on the hair. I just put my 60s inspired dress on already. And what I'm gonna do is really simple guys, I'm just bunching up my hair, well I'm rolling my hair up and I'm going to pin it with some bobby pins to kind of do like the 60s hair flip and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's like this hairstyle they did I think in the early 60s, it was like Instead of brushing their hair down, I, they would brush their hair up and they would do like this little cute flip and it would do it if you had like short hair, but I'm just doing it the easy way and like cheating for those of you that kind of want to do this hairstyle or like that have long hair. I'm just flipping the hair and pinning it, so just make sure to put a lot of bobby pins so it can stay in place. And I just kind of left my bangs to the side. I'm gonna like still fix it a little. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just like basically parted my hair. But you could try to do it like all around. It was just like hard for me. Like, since I couldn't see the back. But yeah, as you guys could see, this takes me like, this took me like a few tries. It's just... I like just randomly thought of it this last minute. And I was like, I think I'm just gonna try to create like a little hair flip. You guys could also tease your hair if you want, you know, before this to give it some volume. But I just left it like this. And I'm just putting my hair back behind my ear and I'm just fixing it and I just kind of like swooped my bangs to the side Oops, my bobby pins are kind of showing <laughs> Now I'm going to use this hair scarf 
that I got on Etsy a long time ago. It's just a white long hair scarf. It's very easy to tie when you're trying to tie a bow with your hair down. And I'm just going to tie like a very simple bow on, you, on my head. And I'm going to show my bangs. And I'm just going to tuck in those little ends underneath. And that is the finished look guys. Oh and don't forget to spray your hair with some hairspray so it stays in place. And yeah this is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up guys and please let me know if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Okay guys, so my dress is from AliExpress. So this is how the look came out. And these are my shoes. I also got them on AliExpress. AliExpress. I will link them down below. And my socks, I can't remember where I got them. But here's another picture of another time I wore this out whole outfit. Except I did my hair a little different. I just kind of like teased it and put the same hair scarf. Thank you.